Hey, hey, Gemini. Good morning. So it's me, Tesra from Tesra's Tarot, your favorite uh, tarot reader. And I'm here to put with another video to get some daily energy. So you know what to do, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you would like a personal reading, um, look at my description box and let's get started. So, I actually don't have any idea. <laughs> Normally when I get up and get ready to do these, I have some kind of idea. Um, I've gotten some kind of feeling or something. Something's popped into my head or, but I have nothing. I have nothing. So we're just going to see what the cards have to tell us. What is the energy for Gemini today? What are the messages for Gemini today? What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. We got a jumper. Breathe. Okay. Some of you guys could could benefit from some meditation. Um, but even in those times of anxiousness or anxiety, for me, just taking about three really deep breaths kind of redirects um, that anxiety because I do also um, suffer from bouts of, ang of, of being anxious, okay? Soulmates, okay? Look at spirit back there. I feel like somebody has the key to unlock something or somebody has the key to somebody's heart. Yeah, you see the key in the heart there? So somebody has the key to your heart or you have the key to theirs, okay? I feel like you may know that you have the key that um, this may be your soulmate or that you may have the key to their heart or vice versa, which may be causing some anxiety around a situation, especially if it's not going the way you want it to go. Okay. No place like home. Wow. I just heard leave the light on for me. Somebody may have told you to like leave a light on for them. Or maybe that's something that they used to say. Um, but either way, this person feels like your home or you feel like their home. Okay. Okay, so I get a real big energy of separation here. Okay. <clears throat> that you probably aren't with this person currently. Oh, here we go. You know what? We're going to take a different direction today. Mm -hmm. We're going to go a different direction. Let's see what the twin flame messages have to say. This is clearly about love. messages this Gemini needs to know. Maybe we're just too different. I feel like this is your energy. Okay? I feel like, again, with that anxiety, I feel like that's your energy. I hope you guys can see. I kind of like dimly lit readings for some reason. But I hope you guys can see well. What else do you have for Gemini? Gemini. I feel like that's your energy, though. That maybe we're just too different. You've been in my dreams. So either you've been having dreams about them or they have been having dreams about you. Okay? I 
I wish I could take back the things I said. Okay. So, somebody here... Somebody here, um, bottom of the deck, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that, okay? So somebody, so somebody here let it, somebody here went off on the other person, just to put it mildly. Somebody here, um, let it rip, okay? Or somebody here said some things out of anger. That they wish they could take back let's see what else we can get acceptance Everything happens for a reason or accepting that everything happens for a reason okay I also feel like that's your energy <clears throat> I think you're getting to the point to where you're just like hey it is what it is you know and isn't it funny how every time you get to that point here they come oh you got you a king of wands here I hide behind material things so you got you a king of wands, a king of pentacles, a six of wands. This is somebody who has the flashy clothes and the flashy car and the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I am not available. I feel like that's your energy. One more. I lost myself for a little while. So this is you. I feel like you've gotten to the point to where you're finally getting yourself back. Okay? You've gotten to the point to where you're finally getting yourself back. And <clears throat> you are not so quick to open yourself up for this person or probably anybody. Just to be real honest with you. So, Gemini, your energy is four of pentacles, two of pentacles, the chariot. Could be dealing with an earth sign or a cancer. Okay? But I feel like you have decided to move forward. Okay? You're moving forward. I feel like you've put some distance between you and this person. I feel like this came at a time after you um, were going back and forth about what to do. I also feel like you're in the midst of that. Okay? Because look at all this water. I don't even know if you can see it. But look at all this water and how rough it is. So I feel like... I feel like you're struggling to keep your head above water. Okay? Emotionally. About this situation. You could also be struggling um, financially. Okay? But also, I feel like you've decided to, again, hold back from this situation. Okay, and really put your focus on finances. But I get the sense you're struggling to keep your head above water when it comes to this situation. Three cards for the person they're dealing with. Okay. I say you had your old king of wands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who was inconsistent. That 
came out to. So bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. I feel like you have some kind of truth or clarity. You see something for exactly what it is, okay? You see the truth, okay? And that's you, Gemini, or air sign. So you were dealing with somebody who wasn't putting in the work on the situation with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? This Three of Cups in reverse, that's the reason why they weren't putting in the work, okay? This person was definitely inconsistent. And definitely a player. Could be dealing with a fire sign with this Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay? That Three of Cups in reverse, that tells me, you know, what it was. And this King of Wands here. This is somebody who is very fiery, passionate. Um, this is somebody who takes action. But this is somebody who is very, very arrogant. Okay? So that King of Wands mixed with that Knight of Wands in reverse, that was a hot mess. Mm-hmm. Quick tempered. So the whole I wish I could take back what I said, that's them. Okay. That's their energy. And I could totally see how you could get lost um, or how you could lose yourself dealing with this person because there's a lot of sexual energy um, around this person. That King of Wands, Knight of Wands in, in, in reverse, that's a lot of passion, a lot of sexual energy. So I could definitely see how that could happen. Clarify for a pinnacle. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're in some kind of conflict, okay? And I feel like it's a conflict um, monetarily, okay? Could be dealing with Aries. But I also feel like if it's not a if it's not a monetary conflict, it's the fact that you don't trust this person with this fool card in reverse. You don't want to take a risk and you don't trust this person. I feel like you're holding back from this situation because this person probably had you in competition with others. Clarify two of pentacles. I ain't even gonna go down, y'all. Queen of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of um, Swords. So I feel like this situation has you stressed out, okay? I feel like you don't wanna deal with it. So you will block out having to deal with the situation. Could be dealing with an, um, a fellow Earth sign. So it could be a Gemini dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or Aquarius here. Um, but I also feel like you go back and forth because you still have emotion for this person, okay? There's still emotion there. You, you still have feelings for this person, okay? And I feel like the moving on factor, that chariot here, is it, it, um, it's very hard for you to do because of the feelings that you have for this person. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, you're rejecting this person, though. Get this four of cups here. So you're saying it with your mouth, but your heart definitely, yeah. So you're taking action, too, with this queen of wands here. I will say this, though. Soulmate was the first card that came out. King and queen of wands. So this could very well be a soulmate, okay? What I do want to say about soulmates is soulmate doesn't mean that you have to be with this person forever. That's not what a soulmate is. A soulmate comes to teach us lessons. But do I think that this is a divine partnership? Yes. Okay. I feel like you guys, if both of you came from a space of really wanting to be with each other and not playing games, definitely. Okay. Because you guys had the same drive. Okay. You, you, y'all are really alike in a lot of ways. Um, both both very passionate, which is why this person can't fully leave you alone also, okay? <clears throat> I feel like some of you guys, some of you guys may have bought some sunflowers or some of you guys may like sunflowers. I also feel like some of you guys are into spirituality. Well, if you're watching tarot, you most probably are. But also like um, manifesting. Some of you guys could do candle work or whatever. 
but with that black cat here and that you know how i feel about that stick that's a wand to me um but yeah a lot of you guys are feeling powerful okay or, or have stepped into a power position look at this on this chariot card that's powerful this person is powerful sitting up there this woman um so yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are in your power and that's where that i'm not available comes in at and i feel like also you won't allow yourself to get lost uh, again because right here it says i lost I, I lost myself for a little while you won't allow that again clarify not a wands in reverse Yeah, this person was being sneaky, okay? Sneaking and refusing to make a permanent or a definite decision with this two of wands in reverse. They weren't going to make a decision because they want to tip to and fro. That's why, okay? Could be dealing with a fellow Gemini or a, a fire sign. Clarify three of cups in reverse. So, I feel like this person wants to reconcile, okay, with this Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. This person also wants to have sex with you, okay? But also, this person feels like you're a soulmate. So, with that Three of Cups in reverse, I feel like they try to reconcile with you, or they may fear that you don't want to reconcile with them, okay? But clearly, right here, they want a reconciliation, okay? Again, like I said, this is a lot of sexual passion. This person may have, oh yeah, Mama, that Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And I feel like they may take some kind of action in order to bring about this new beginning. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. I also feel like you guys make good money together. So both of you guys may have businesses or really make good money. Yeah, I ain't finna go there with the money. You guys. <clears throat> this person feels like you guys are a power couple okay with this ace of cups i hope you can see it with this ace of cups ace of pentacles this person wants a new start financially or a new beginning financially i feel like they feel you guys could be prosperous together and also that um they want to offer you new love i feel like this person may take action towards those things towards you because that king of wands is an action taker okay and they normally get what they want. But with this fool in reverse here, you don't trust them. You don't trust them. But you still have feelings though. But you don't trust them. Clarify Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands again, okay? So I feel like this person was putting a lot of work. First of all, I'm just going to say it. This person may have been married, okay? Or already in a committed relationship with this King of Pentacles, okay? But if they weren't, I feel like this person wants to care for you or wants to provide for you, okay? They may have even told you that, that they want to take care of you, okay? With this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, <clears throat> They wasn't working on the situation because they had other stuff going on. With this moon card here, it could be dealing with a Pisces. And especially with this moon card, Seven of Swords, they had other stuff going on. So they couldn't put in the proper work for this situation, okay? But again, I feel like this person may want to provide for you and, and, and care for you. Because look at, I mean, look at, the abund look at the abundance of this person. Look at all them grapes all over his robe. That's abundance, okay? I feel like this person probably or wants to take care of you, wants to provide, wants to offer you that coin, but they aren't showing that, okay? They may be hiding their emotion. <clears throat> Clarify the moon card and the king of pentacles. 
Yeah. They want to make you a tangible offer here with this King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're waiting for the right time, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're waiting for the right time. Okay? They're waiting for the right time to... They don't feel like this is the right time. Okay? Because I feel like they've tried to talk to you and you haven't been receptive. So I feel like they'll keep putting out feelers to see... To, to kind of take your temperature, basically. And um, when they feel like you softened up, then all of this will come out. But I feel like they're waiting on the right time. They're hiding They're hiding the fact that they really want to care for you or take care of you. Hmm. Okay, Gemini. And, and, let me, and let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say a couple things. I got a comment yesterday that says, I'm tired of hearing about the past. The cards only pick up the energy... Of the people who watch, who interact, you know, like, comment, that type of thing. That is the energy that these cards are going to pick up. So, if I'm talking about the past every day and these past people or whatever, then that is the energy that you guys are in. If you move out of that energy, then the cards will be different. Number two. I could post a video or I could read the cards yesterday and it'd be a horrible horrible reading and then come today and this reading is pretty good and then i'll get people saying well yesterday you said this and now today you're saying that the energy changes do you know how many times i change my mind in a day how many times do you change your mind in a day so just because Something is like something's one way two days ago doesn't mean it's gonna be the same. Okay, so that's why the readings are different. I mean, you see the cards laid out here. I'm only reading what comes out and what my intuition says about the cards. So, with that being said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www theglamcafe.com if you'd like a personal reading my information is in the description box and i'll speak to you soon bye